Hello Scorpio. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoiche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is going to be a love reading covering the time from mid-October to end of October 2020. And do keep in mind it is a general reading, so it may not resonate for every Scorpio out there. The timeline may be a bit forwards or backwards in your respective lives. The deck I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck, so this is going to be a love reading, and I'm going to focus on the emotions and feelings of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, or the person you're wanting to be connecting with romantically. Okay. A realization, it seems. There's a sudden realization about something. Okay. Relationship. Power. Doubt. Then we have mystery. Inspiration. Okay. This fell, guys. Third party card. Oh boy. And then there's anger right after the third party card. Oh God. Oh boy, this is going to be one reading, guys. <clears throat> okay. Scorpio, my lovely Scorpios, I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you. My dear Scorpio, Things have happened in my life over time and I have come to the realization I have had this epiphany moment, this enlightenment that what I really want in my life is you. It's a beautiful feeling that I've come to this awakening moment, this realization that I want you in my life in a romantic relationship. I have thought of this, not lightly, but over many moons, many nights, I have stayed up awake thinking about you and wanting to be in a romantic connection with you because I see you are so caring and so kind and so loving. There's a nurturing quality about you that I find so beautiful. You have this way of having power over me. You don't even know it. But you make me feel very vulnerable, very weak in the knees. And you are so damn tempting. You define temptation. You have no idea how weak you make me. This is sometimes why I don't even talk to you. Because I just can't handle your hotness but whatever has happened between us and this connection that I have, this feeling, this feeling of temptation that I have towards you, I doubt that anything good would come out of this. What I do know is that for some strange reason I feel 
and I question. I question God. I question the universe. Why did Scorpio come into my life? Why now? After all this time, somebody so wonderful who I really want to connect with, is there a reason why Scorpios come into my life at the time that they have? Everything that I'm going through, is this the one for me? I feel that you are because you give me a sense of fulfillment that nobody has, which is why I want a relationship with you. I feel as though there is spiritual, emotional, and physical satisfaction in this connection. I can sense that. I know it. I also feel that you have this power to inspire me to live again, to feel young again, to feel alive again. You have this beautiful way of making me feel that life is beautiful. The sky is beautiful. The world is beautiful. Everything smells different, looks different, sounds different. And that different is good. And even though I am on the path with another. I'm still looking towards you, yearning and longing for your company because I do want a relationship with you. No matter where I am, what I do, who I'm with, I'm thinking about you. And not being able to be with you and having these doubts in my mind I can't tell you how angry and frustrated I am on the inside about this situation. It really frustrates me. I'm growing impatient because I want to be with you so badly. Okay, Scorpio. <laughs> Guys, this person Oh my gosh, I could feel my heart was racing. This person really is impatient. Holy smokes. They want you bad, but it's not just that. It's not just about lust, guys. This person literally feels as though you fit the bill. You fit everything. Everything that they've ever wanted, you have all those qualities. This is why they do feel that, you know, why now? Why not like a few months back? Why not a few years ago? Why not before I married the man or woman I'm with? Why couldn't this person show up then? These are the feelings and emotions that this person is having. This is only going to resonate for a few of you now. But this is what they're feeling. There's a timing here, a timing. They're wondering why now. For some of you, this could be a good thing. For some of you, this could be bad. And even some of the actions, some of the actions that have happened in this connection, this person is wondering, why now? Why are you behaving like this now? Or simply, why have you come into my life? All right. That was heavy. I'm going to look at any plans, any actions or intentions that this person has towards you. Well, let's tell you this. <laughs> They're trying to tell you this. The emperor, it's their way or the highway. This person does want Scorpio to give you love, commitment, security. They want to care for you. They want to protect you. They want to keep you safe. They want to uh, dominate you. This is their way or the highway. They also may love you the way they know how to love, but they won't love you the way you want to be loved. Okay, let's see here. The Ten of Wands. Interesting. Wow, a lot of fiery energy. Oh, my goodness, people, 
two of cups under the bottom of the deck beautiful absolutely gorgeous all right this is what's happening scorpio this person is kind of dominating they are stuck in a situation where their life is kind of screwed up and they want to be with you they want to be only with you but they're stuck and they have to have some set of rules and they expect you and they wish that you will follow these rules do they have affections for you yes they do this is why they want to provide you with something solid they are also going to be seven of wands a little defensive there's going to be some things that they might need to wrap up before they even start to engage in anything with you and then you have the queen of wands they just can't get enough of you they find you utterly irresistible they find you very attractive very hot very sexy they also find that you have a lot of potential however the connection that you're dealing with here scorpio and like i said this could possibly be a third party connection there is a sense of burden in this connection itself so this person may have financial responsibilities they might have health responsibilities um, relationship responsibilities so many things and these are all burdening this individual the responsibilities and time taken out and energy for this other situation that they're in now you have become part of that other situation too you are another individual that they have to deal with and give their time and energy to so they're finding the entire situation a little bit overwhelming but what they want to do and they are going to take action scorpio yes they are two of cups they want to make you an offer firstly they want to apologize for anything that has happened between the both of you this does indicate some type of forgiveness or some type of resolution or reconciliation between the both of you they want to give you their cup of love they want to offer you love they want to exchange their feelings with you they want to tell you how they feel about you and they do feel a soulmate connection with you they do feel that there is something above and beyond just the normal everyday thing that they're seeing they feel a very close bond they feel as if you're supposed to be with them this is the way it's supposed to be we're supposed to be together this is the feeling in this connection this connection is very intense i can feel the intenseness intenseness if that's a word um <laughs> all right guys this is the lover's path tarot and i'm going to have a look at if there's any any obstacles or hurdles like the one main thing that's causing an issue here okay there you are princess of staves there she comes again it's always on her horsey galloping now we have the princess of staff so let's have a look here The Princess of Staffs, this talks about, and Scorpio, you might be, um, you might either be the younger person in this connection or the older person, but spiritually and emotionally, the person you were dealing with, they are inexperienced. So they're not as experienced as you are. You're more wiser. This person is not as wise. This is an inexperienced young person who may be very passionate about the connection, but not very experienced in how to dealing with these connections. Too much energy has been put into this connection, but not enough focus. Ideas and messages that fizzle out after initial enthusiasm. So not only is this person a bit um, rushed in the beginning and then things just fizzle out, but also remember they had the burdens card there the ten of wands there's a lot going on so their focus is what they're saying here the focus is not as much as it should be there should be more focus on the connection now the awakening is a beautiful card it does talk about gradually scorpio this person is going to have an emotional awakening 
that love and sexuality should be together. The problem here is they have an unwillingness to accept affection. They may be creating blockages that are being created externally and internally. There's a refusal to grow. So the creativity blocked by external and internal forces, for me, from what I do, I do see now that there are some negative energies that are affecting the blockage. So there's certain blocks that are being put in this person's life and their energy is now starting to affect you, Scorpio. For those of you that may be feeling any type of negative energy or you feel as though you just have the worst luck in the world or, and this is not just, you know, one month type of feeling. If you have felt for years or over the past few months that things are really bad for you, um, definitely contact me. I have created something called the Holy Light Package. What it is, is a set of prayers that I myself have created to help people. Um, and I've done it myself. This is why I'm proficient at it. Um, it's to get rid of negative energies from your life. From your life. And what it is, just a set of prayers. You do them. And anything that's negative around you, if you do it correctly, they will start to fade. You cannot manifest something when you have blockages. Now that is what this card talked about. There's blockages, internal as well as external. There's things inside you that are blocking you and energies outside you that are preventing good things from coming inside. So if some of you feel that you have anything that's negative around you, if you feel this, feel free to contact me because I can send you that over. And um, I've had a lot of good um, responses from people. I've done it myself. I've dealt with a lot of negative energies, which is why I decided to create one and just help everybody. Let's get rid of all that and let's just get all the goodness in because that's what we want. All right. I could give a lecture on this stuff. I probably will in the future, but all right. Um, I'm just going to do a quick prayer on these cards. Okay. Now, these are the... Um, this is the... God, no, what is this? Dorian Virtues. <laughs> it's the Dorian Virtues deck. There you go. Remain positive because you have negative energy. The more positive you be, the more positive energy you're going to attract. If you are negative, you will be attracting negative energy. But sometimes if you have negative energy around you, you don't even know it. And by being depressed, by being angry, by being frustrated, negative energies amplify these energies. And we just don't know that we actually have all this. We just think it's normal. It's just, it's not. There are things that affect us in certain ways. And I have first-hand experience with this nonsense. Okay. Remain positive and no. So like I was saying, the name of this deck is, it's by Dorian Virtues, Angel Answer. They're angel answer cards. <laughs> Therapy cards are different. Okay. What's coming is being downloaded into my mind right now. Too much of anything is bad. Too much of a good thing is bad. This is what's coming to mind. This might be a message for some of you. This could be too much of anything that's even passionate or lustful because then that can become an addiction that can become somebody just using you just to get that satisfaction for themselves okay alright guys this does seem as if it's quite particular for a few of you here so what the angels are saying this message is brought to you by our Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. 
So Scorpio, what they're saying is definitely remain positive. They want you to let go of the situation and the feelings and emotions and the hurt and the expectations, especially the expectations that you have from this person. Because no, it's not going to work out if you don't stop these, the list that I just gave you. It's up to you. You can either make this relationship work or not work. The situation is going to improve, but it is suggested that you let go of any expectations for now because all it's going to do is hurt you. And then no, you won't get what it is that you wanted. You are going to be ready. You're going to be ready because you're going to be a bit more mature. You're going to learn about the situation even more. You will be meditating and praying to the divine, to God, and you'll be requesting angels to help you and giving them permission to help you with the situation. Eventually, within the next few months, the situation is going to improve with this person. But don't think that it's just going to happen like that. This is why they're saying, no, it's up to you. It's not up to this person. Stop waiting on this person. What the angels are saying is that you're ready to take action, to be that person, to engage. And it's up to you to make it happen. But let go of expectations. Let go of the want and the need, anything that you have with this person right now. Within the next few months, you will notice that the situation will start to improve. I hope some of you were able to understand that message. I tried to explain it as best as I could. So guys, please let me know if some of you resonated with this. It did seem as if it was quite particular for, for some of you and not all of you, for sure. Thank you again so much for all of your support and all of your love. It's very much appreciated. It is a blessing to me. Thank you. For those of you who are new, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope some of you resonated with it. And let me know in the comments below. So I will see you guys again in November. Take care, stay safe, and definitely, guys, stay healthy. All right, then. Bye now.